All of these things are things we're all familiar with hearing. And these are not bad things. We actually see these things in much more than just work. They're, they're things that are very common, right? We see this in education, students competing, right, for valedictorian or just grades in general. We see this in sports, athletes com competing for trophies and different titles, right? We see this among siblings. What's up geeks, it's your guy Q here aka JGTV and we are back with another one guys and before we get into this message guys I want you guys to stop if you're not subscribed subscribe to the channel stop take a moment and like this video and also take a moment and turn on your post notifications now back to the video we are still in God over culture and today we're going to be focusing on work and promotion this was something my wife was super excited for me to talk about and I said you know what I'll give in because she is the wife right so I gave in today what I really want to focus on is what it looks like for people to be working extremely hard but God's sovereignty is still in the midst of them working extremely hard and trying to be seen hence the reason why we're talking about work and promotion right so I'm going to do this in two parts because today I really want to focus on uh, the promotion part of it and, and how God is in charge of who he lifts up and who he exalts, right? It's not up to us and it's not in our own timing. So that's where we're parking at today. So what does culture say about work and promotion versus what does God say? Let's get right into it. So what are some of the things that culture says about work and promotion, right? Work, work harder, grind, grind harder, right? And let's make this money, right? All of these things are things we're all familiar with hearing. And these are not bad things. We actually see these things in much more than just work. They're, they're things that are very common, right? We see this in education, students competing, right, for valedictorian or just grades in general. We see this in sports, athletes com competing for trophies and different titles, right? We see this among siblings. So having that rivalry mindset or that grind mentality is not a bad thing, but it is something that we see that culture says is pretty normal when it comes to work and promotion. What God has to say about work and promotion is totally different. So today we're going to park in the book of Psalm and I'm going to start at chapter 75 and I'm going to be reading to you guys verses 6 through 10. And after I read to you guys, we're going to break, break this down with some commentary. So check this out. I'm reading in the NIV translation, the new international version. So let's see what this says no one from the east or the west or from the desert can exalt themselves it is god who judges he brings one down he exalts another and the hand of the lord is a cup full of foaming wine mixed with spices he pours it out and all the wicked of the earth drink it down to its very dregs as for me i will declare this forever i will sing praise to the god of jacob who says, I will cut off the horns of all the wicked, but the horns of the righteous will be lifted up. So now I want to go over to Albert Barnes' commentary. 
I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with him, but I usually park in uh, Albert Barnes or maybe Matthew Henry, sometimes uh, Jameson, but I usually uh, look at Albert Barnes, so I want to read his commentary on how he broke down Psalm 75 verse 7, which talks about God puts one down and he exalts another right because this is not saying that god's evil and he takes away and you know and all this other stuff in a negative way it's just saying that god is in control of promotion not us so check out what albert barnes has to say about this but god is the judge all depends on him not on the natural advantages of a country not on human strength human skill or human prowess whatever may be the natural resources of a country whatever may be the enterprise the numbers or the valor of its inhabitants, whatever alliances of peace or war they may form with other nations, yet success depends on God. He presides over all. He can give success when it is least expected. And he also can humble people when they have made the most ample preparations for success and anticipated in the most confident manner. He put it down one and he set it up another. Literal, this is one he humbles and this he exalts. This is true alike of an individual or a nation. The word rendered, set it up, is the same which is used in Psalm chapter 75, verses 4 to 6. Rendered, lift up, and promotion. The idea is that in the matter of lifting up or promotion, all depends on God. He is sovereign and confers, and confers exaltation, whether of an individual or a nation, as he pleases. So as we see in Psalm 75, uh, God is saying here, like, I'm in charge of promotion, right? Now, we know that David is the one that is the author here, but David has already realized this. So he's just basically, he's communicating to us what God has already let him know. The Lord is in charge of promotion promotion is not up to me and no matter how much i may try right god is the one who humbles and god is the one who exalts right so it's not up to us right as far as psalm uh chapter 75 verses 8 this is where we see the lord's cup and how it's it's mixed with uh foaming wine and spices and don't let all of this confuse you because what uh what commentary and what theologians seem to put together is that this is a uh, good and bad commingled right like this is like the blessings and mercy and grace and curses all mingled together and this was specifically going to be poured out for the children of israel and who was to get their portion of what they were supposed to get this is what this is supposed to signify right here in the text right so it's not it's not saying anything directly towards someone today who's trying to get promotion necessarily but what it meant at this time was it was something that was for the children of israel and this is the way it was used as a metaphor in the text uh, I believe it's Jameson or uh, Matthew Henry. I don't want to misquote, but one of the commentaries also say that it's like a king during this time who would serve drink and meat and he would serve the portions as he would see fit. So he would be the one to delegate who got a certain portion of meat or a certain portion of wine. And he was the one who would pour the cup or uh, or he was the one who would be serving. So basically in this uh, in this text, God is the king that would be giving out the portion. But it's meant for the children of Israel of this time. So I don't want you guys to get confused. That's all that means. If you guys are like, wait a minute, we're talking about work and promotion. And now we're going from a wine and, and uh, spices like I'm confused. That's all that means. But again, all scripture is beneficial, right, for teaching. So if we want to look at that today, right, it is about your own portion, right? This is what the children of Israel were experiencing when David was going through this psalm, right? They were experiencing whatever their whatever their portion was at the time, right? So whoever got grace and mercy, whoever got misery, and this is the way that the commentary breaks it down. So you guys stay tuned for the second part of this video when we go just a little bit deeper into work and promotion. I'm going to use uh, different Bible verses this time, but I really wanted to just park right here uh, in Psalm because David has some pretty great things to say about uh, work and promotion and the Lord being the one to exalt and the one and being the one to humble. So you guys stay tuned. 
We'll be right back with another one. What do I always say? Love yourselves, love one another, but most of all, love God. Peace.